conversation around unemployment in this country is a very rampant one and probably one of the most unorthodox measures we have proposed is lowering the retirement age which is at the heart of today's debate by Mango High School and Thika and the motion reads retirement age should be lowered to 50 to curb unemployment. I repeat the motion retirement age should be lowered to 50 to curb unemployment. Mango High School versus Thika High School senior team Team proposition, first speaker, you have three minutes on stage. My name is Simon Yongesa from Thika High School. I'd like to greatly support the motion that states retirement age should be lowered to 50 to curb unemployment. Firstly, I'd like to give the definitions of these words, retirement. Retirement simply means all refers to the time in life in which one chooses to live permanently from the workforce behind. Okay? That's the meaning and that's the definition. Uh, the meaning of unemployment simply means that this is a situation whereby one person or a person such as for a job, and he or she is unable to get their work due to different factors. And the factors that you're talking about today is the retirement age, about the retirement age. I stand here today to again support this motion. And for your information, I would like to be employed. I would really like to be employed and due to this factor, maybe I will not be employed. So, I would like to emphasize my points. Uh, my, f my first point is that the advanced in age, the advanced in age are still holding, are still holding work, po work, uh, work positions while the youths are still lacking jobs. This is really a coincidence. These are those people who hold the, the working positions. They are, they, are really, they are really old enough that they cannot do the job focusingly. What they will just do, maybe they will do jo the job lazily, but they have to leave the work for the youths because the youths, they have new mind, new experience, and those, all of them. Again, uh, I'd like to emphasize another point. If you, com if you comprise the retirement age for here in Kenya and South Africa, in Kenya, the, the retirement age is 60. But when you go to South Africa, there is no age retirement. Anybody can retire at the age he or she wants, even at 90. So this brings to the point that in South Africa, there is high rate of unemployment due to that. My third point is that the people with disabilities uh, the people with disabilities, they have their retirement age has been increased at 65 in 2020. So to get that uh, retirement age of 60 years here in Kenya, it, it is due to the following amendments in 2009 from 55. From 55. So the reasons, or the main reasons. Oh. T time is up. Yes, actually not here. First speaker, team opposition, you have three minutes. My dear friend, since South Africa actually offers uh, any retirement age, I think you should retire there and buy a dictionary. Um, first of all, um, let me clearly define retirement for my dear friend here. Um, this is the fact of stopping work after reaching a certain age. 
um, unemployment, a situation where a person actually actively searches for work but is not able to get. Um, first of all, um, we need to know um, the categories of unemployment. Um, first of all, youth, the long-term unemployed, the women and the disabled. Um, first of all, first of the po uh, one of the points um, which actually affect uh, the reducing of the retirement age is the we should look at the demographic the demographic factors. Um, look at China. China actually has one of the one of the one of the highest retirement ages. Why? They have actually many aging people in their area, and for this, they chose that. Like now, uh, according to the st st statistics, um, the retirement age is actually 60 is actually 62. Um, uh, when we see the economy of China, China actually is the fastest growing economy right now in in the country in the world, and um, and that is that is seen and actually we, it can become a superpower in the near future. Um, looking at technology, technology is also a factor in this. Um, South Africa chose uh, investing and uh, push emphasizing on technological factors, technological fields. Um, but look at their retirement age. Their retirement age, their retirement age is actually 40, 50 to 55. So please try to research well. Um, they, when you look at their unemployment rates, it uh, it is actually the highest of 34.63%. Um, looking at Thailand, Thailand now is creeping into the 10 most countries with the highest GDP rates since it chose having a retirement age of 62. And now the unemployment rate is actually 1%. That is, a, uh, that is one of the reasons why I believe that it should not be reduced. Um, for the imp the this reducing of the retirement ages um, also causes increase in pressure of the social security systems. Um, my v my fellow opposers will will continue the motion. My name is Alvin from the Great Mango High School. Second speaker, team proposition. You have three minutes on stage. I am Vanessa Kome, and I start now. Uh, I'd like to correct my friend. I think you did not do your research well. South Africa does not have a, an age where you have to attain, where you have to be retired. Simply, what we have to do first is that we have to come back home. We have to come back to Kenya. Let alone China, let China be China and Thailand be Thailand, come back to Kenya. In 2009, the, in 2009, the retirement, the retirement age was reduced, I'm sorry, was increased from 55 to 60 years old. This negatively impacted our country in that the unemployment rate rose drastically. Recently, as my fellow proposer said, the retirement age of the disabled was increased from 60 to 65. Look at us now. Many youths are not in employed. Gibran Kureishi, an East African economist at the Stanbic Bank, stated that 90%, 90% of new jobs are in the poorly paid informal sector. An example is house help. An example of a house help is Cecilia Awar, a 25-year-old who has a degree in business informo information technology and is currently working as a housemaid, being paid $50 per month. 
Muhammadi Buhari, the president of Nigeria, last year changed the retirement age from 60 to 65, and it already has a negative impact. How? Unemployment rate now at 4.2%, arise from 2018's 2.3% when the state age was 60. A 2008 analysis from the National Bureau of Economic Research reported that retirement leads to declines in mental health and increases the and increases poor health effects. An example is heart attack, heart attack. So I suggest that we reduce the retirement age and let the old enjoy their 10 or 15 more years peacefully. I have a question, or let it be. Have mercy on the other. Second speaker, team proposition, you have three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the great John Kamau from the Imangu High School, here to strongly oppose the motion that states that retirement age should be lowered at 50 to, to curb unemployment. And I would like to take you to what the, their first speaker said. He said that he would like to be employed and he would not get a, a, a job because there are older people in, um, in the workforce. Now, I may pose a question to him right now. What experience do you have regarding employment? You are still in high school. So you cannot, by any chance, get employed because you are not experienced. Now, on to my point. I would like to enlighten you that there are many other factors that cause unemployment. Unemployment is not actually, the retirement does not affect uh, uh, the unemployment rate in Kenya, in the world for that matter. Causes such as rising population, causes such as climate change, globalization, and, uh, and uh, decline in countries' economies. Those ones have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with retirement. My next, uh, um, you, would, you, would say, you would state that um, you are saying that lowering retirement age curbs unemployment. But if I may ask, how many people actually benefit from those people who have retired? Only a very small fraction of people. For example, we have been told uh, um, in, a, in an article by the Business Daily on May 24th, 2022, it stated that 60,000 people had retired from 2019 to 2022. And that is against the, the 5.9 million people who are unemployed at f uh, as at February 2021. Now imagine 60,000 people against 5.9 million people who are unemployed. How, what, what, uh, what has that changed? Very small, very small percentage. So actually, reducing retirement age does not in any way help us. In fact, we, are, we lose the experienced people. Of course, no one wants to, ge to get an employee such as him who has no experience. No one wants, everyone wants to have a, 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 an employee who is experienced, an energetic employee, a person who has been there, a person who, is, who, who, who knows the, the, the values of the, of, the, of the institution that they're working for. My next point is that lowering retirement age increases pressure on social security systems and pension systems. Do you know that the government actually spends, or rather, in the last financial year, the government of Kenya spent 113.72 billion in paying pensions to people who have um, retired. Now, imagine lowering the age to 50. How many people right now are, are at 50? What, what, how many, what is the number of people who are at 50 and they have, they, 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 if they were to retire? How much, money, how much more money would the government spend? Right now, we are suffering from a crip crippled economy. I would like to enlighten you people. Kindly gather some experience first before you come here and start talking that you want to be employed. No one will be
Both teams have been tasked with questions to answer for their case studies. Team proposition, you have three minutes. The floor is yours. My name is David Nyaga from Vika High School, and I would like to get employed. My first task will be answering the question that I've been asked about what, um, what is the functional ba background of when you reduce um, the retirement age that there'll be more um, employment, that it will reduce unemployment rate. So you see, um, the number of people um, in the in the labor in the labor working group will be more if the retirement age is high. From by reducing the retirement age, it will reduce the number of people in the working bracket. This will create more chances for the people in, uh, who are upcoming, the, the youth. Another, this are actually, this are actual, actually my points. I was supposed to answer that. By creating, um, by re reducing the retirement age, it will create more time for the old people to start post-retirement activities, such as self-entrepreneurship, this increases the um, job op opportunities for the youth as they are the ones who employ us. So I'll secondly, I um, want to correct my fellow opposers, my opposers, my very able opposers. As they, state, they state, stated that it is based on demogra demographic factor. There are more youth in Kenya than there are old people. So when you reduce the number of old people working, You'll increase the number. You'll give more opportunities to the youth, and which and um, factors that have shown um, research research from the Inter Institute of Educa uh, Engineering in India showed that 64% of the working population are the are the young people. So this means, and financialists agree that the GDP of, in India will increase by 2%. That's a lot. Because sixty-four percent of the working in the working bracket are youth, showing that youth are more productive than old than the the old. Moving on to my next point, um, they also say that that this causes um the, that no one wants to that a small fraction of people benefits from this. The motion says that this is to curb unemployment. So if you still see a small fraction of people uh, benefit from this, we want to uh, uh, make sure that everybody benefits from this. Yes, there are many. Yes, there are more points that there are more points that are, can be put across that not this is not the only way. But a country like Sri Lanka has the lowest has the has the lowest um, retirement age of 53, and financialists have concluded that it will have a 94 94% of its population will be empl will, will be employed by 2024 thank you third speaker team opposition you have 3 minutes so my name is eric morioki from the mango high school and i'm here to debate on this motion that retirement should be lowered to 50 to curb unemployment crisis to curb unemployment which i'm strongly against and so, I'll start first of all to answer your question. You said that this person who has graduated and maybe he has the degrees that he needs and the, how you're asking how he's going to get employed, right? So, look at this. As maybe how my opponents may be trying to say that when we lower this age from 60 to 50 that it's going to help to curb unemployment. It's not sure if this person, even if he has all these degrees and, and the, 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 the degrees and maybe whatever he needs to get employed, it's not guaranteed that he's going to get that employment. And so, on to the rebuttals. Uh, I think one of my opponents say, stated the aspect that when these people retire at the age of, at an, at the age of 60, he was saying that they are old. He was trying to bring the aspect of heart attack 
of heart attack and maybe other diseases, which I clearly didn't see how it's relating to unemployment. Another thing, you said that, you said that when, uh, that there are a lot of young people who do not have the jobs, and you're saying that most of the people need, th most of the people who are holding these job opportunities, who are employed, they are old, and so they need to be, to retire early so that they can create jobs for these young people. Let me tell you one thing. The number of those, as my first speaker had stated, that the number of those, the, my second speaker, that the number of those who retire is small. So it's smaller than those who are unemployed. And so by these people retiring at this age, it does not make it guarantee that even this large population who are not employed, that they are going to get jobs. It's only a small number of them that are going to get these jobs. And so my house, strongly opposes this because as you are saying that a small number this will this retirement of people at this small at this early age of 50 will just will just help a small number who are going to get employed and not many people who are going to, uh, still many people are still going to remain un unemployed and what we believe is that this go i think the government should create incentives such as increased salaries to manual jobs compared to white collar jobs. And this will make the graduates who have those degrees or those people who have the degrees to prefer working on manual jobs. And thus, they will not be, remain unemployed, but still they have, um, they'll be employed. And this will help in curbing unemployment. And with that, I end my speech. will be taking closing remarks team proposition you have one minute to give your closing remark well I don't know about the opposers but I am tired I am tired of seeing old teachers coming into my class looking as if they are going to drop the next minute please lower the age the retirement age from from 60 to 50 that way students will pass that way will not sleep in class every second minute. Teachers are not eloquent in class. These old people should go to retirement homes and do agriculture. That way they'll help the country in acquiring... That way they'll help the country economically grow. So please, lower the, lower the retirement age from 60 to 50 and let fresh, young, new teachers come in. Thank you. Team Proposition, closing remarks, you have one minute. Welcome back, and I begin right now. I would, ha I would begin with a question to my uh, very, very, very good friend here. How many teachers have taught you in your life? of around 18 years, how many teachers have taught you? If you want them to retire right now, how many, more, how many teachers will be replaced? My guess is that you have not even reached 25 teachers in your whole life. Even if they, all of them retire, you will only get new 25 teachers. But what is the deficit in the, in the country? Look, this is clear. There's, there's nothing that retirement age will change. Only a very small fraction. Only very few people will benefit. Besides, are you trying to propose that the youth are substitutes for the young people? Are you trying to propose that we are the ones who are supposed to replace people? I believe that you're supposed to be complementary to each other. I believe that you're supposed to learn from the old and gain experience. The solutions that we, uh, in, in that regard, I would like to end by stating that even if all of your teachers in your school retired, it will not change anything in the deficit of teachers. So kindly, go on with those, go, 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 go listen to those boring teachers and you will pass anyway. Vika, hi. Simon gives us a definition that I don't know whether it was his own definition. And you tell us that it's an age where one chooses. 
I don't think people get to choose all the time. There are laws and all that, you know. So I felt maybe your definition should have been backed by your source or something like that. But Alvin came and your definition actually sounded more found, you know, founded on something. But um, Alvin, your coherence somewhere, we lost you. You know, we, we lost you the flow and all that. And I think you, you did not give us the solution. In fact, I underlined somewhere saying, so what solutions are you offering? But come John. John comes in and John, you're the star. In this whole debate, I think you, you did fantastic. You pulled your team up 100%. Because you come back and tell us there are other factors that actually lead to unemployment. Vanestroy and David. Let me just say that we felt like the mastery of the subject as well as the flow of thought was lacking materially. Um, the Buhari example by Vanestroy was a good one, just to show that when you're advanced in age, there's some, some impairment that is happening in your, maybe your mental space and all that. But we, we were waiting to hear an example where, or countries where, the age, um, the retirement age is lowered, and as a result, many people are employed. Or there is more employment for those people because as a result of um, age, um, uh, an earlier retirement and so on and so forth. So that did not come out very well. But we, we didn't feel the punch. Let me just say for this motion, we didn't feel that enthusiasm other than from John. Um, so we, we were there. Now I do have the results with me and the judges have awarded Mangu High School 59%. A round of applause please for Mangu High School. And the judges have awarded Thika High School with 56%. A round of applause for Thika High School. And the winners of this debate is Mangu High School. A round of applause please for the winners. And until next time here at the Debate Circle, it is goodbye from us.